Welcome to this Mass Made Easy video on the binomial expansion. Let's start with Pascal's triangle. Now Pascal's triangle is created by putting ones down the sides, like we can see here, so ones all the way down the sides, and then every number comes from adding the two above. So for example here, this three comes from one plus two to give us that three there. And again here, two plus one gives us this three. This 6 comes from 3 plus 3. This 10 here comes from 6 plus 4. For example, the 20 comes from 10 plus 10. So that's just an example of how it works. Now the numbers on the nth row are the coefficients of 1 plus x to the power of n. So let's just write that down. So the numbers on the nth row Are the coefficients, so let's just write this down full, are the coefficients of 1 plus x to the power of n. So therefore, if n equals 0, what we get here is 1 plus x to the power of 0, and that's equal to 1. If we have 1 plus x to the power of 1, so n is equal to 1 here, that simply gives us 1 plus x. If we have 1 plus x squared, sorry, 1 plus x all squared, that simply gives us 1 plus 2x plus x squared. Okay, so we can see that from the third row here, we've got 1 plus 2x plus x squared. Okay, and this pattern keeps going. So for example, 1 plus x all cubed, that's equal to 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed so that's our 1 plus x all cubed there and finally if we do 1 plus x to the 4 for example that would be equal to 1 plus 4x plus 6x squared plus 4x cubed and finally plus x to the 4 there okay and that carries on, and so on, and so on. So that gives us everything we need there for Pascal's triangle. Moving on now to take a look at binomial coefficients. So the binomial coefficient we write as n with an m underneath, using this notation. And the way we read this is n choose m. And the formula for this is n factorial divided by m factorial times n minus m factorial okay m and n are integers and n must be greater than m so n and m are integers are integers and n is larger than m okay we can also write this notation as n c m and again, this just means n choose m. Now, the binomial coefficients are the same as the numbers in Pascal's triangle. And we can see that here with this representation of Pascal's triangle here. So what that means is we can write our expansion out in full here as 1 plus x, 1 plus x to the power of n. And this is equal to n choose 0 plus n choose 1 times by x plus n choose 2 times x squared so that should be an x squared there sorry so we just completely get rid of that so we need our x squared here so n choose 2 x squared and this carries on to n choose n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 finally we've got n choose n times x to the end there okay so that's what we can use for our expansion here of 1 plus x to the power of n so that gives us everything we need there for binomial coefficients and finally let's take a look now at the general binomial expansion formula well so far we've only seen how to expand 1 plus x to the power of n but ideally we'd like a way to expand more general things and what we'd like to expand here is things of the form a plus b to the power of n 
And in this expansion, the nth term has powers a to the nth. So the nth term has powers of a to the nth times b to the n minus n. Okay. Now we can use this, along with what we already know about binomial coefficients, to give the general binomial expansion formula. And the result here is as follows, and this is quite a large result. So let's hopefully see if we have enough room here. So if we write this as a plus b to the power of n. So remember, this is what we're looking to expand things of this form. So this begins as n choose 0 times a to the n plus n choose 1 times a to the n minus 1 times b to the 1, which we just write as b. Okay, our next term here is going to be n choose 2. We times this by a to the n minus 2. And then we times that by b to the power of 2 here. So notice this power of b increases as we go along, and the a power decreases by 1. So this is now b squared. And if we keep going on here and we extend this rule, well, at some point we're going to get n choose m. So this becomes n choose m. We times this by a to the m, and then we times that by b to the n minus m. So notice that's our nth term there, a to the m, times b to the n minus m. Our penultimate term here will be n choose n minus 1, which we times by a to the 1, and times that by b to the n minus 1. And finally, our last term here is going to be n choose n, so that's n choose n, and we times this by b to the n there. Okay, and that gives us there the general binomial expansion formula. And that concludes this math made easy video on binomial expansion.